Katie Thurston reveals she fell in love more than once while filming The Bachelorette. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. We have got to talk about everything Katie had to say about her season. But before we get into it, if you're new here, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future updates. As always, I'm your host Fiona Zaring, joined by the wonderful Morgan Wright. Morgan, we have been talking about Katie's season for weeks now, and it's finally premiering tonight. I just want to check in. How excited are you that the moment is finally here? I'm very excited. I mean, we have been talking for weeks and weeks, and every promo <laughs> and every teaser and every picture, I feel like the anticipation has just been building, 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 and I'm finally excited to see what Katie is going to do on TV. I cannot wait. I know. I am totally with you. I feel like we've analyzed every possibility here. And now, I mean, she's finally spilling some pretty major details. And, you know, the season's premiering tonight. So it's all kind of catching up with us. She shared what we can expect from her journey with entertainment tonight. And she did say, quote, I fall in love more than once, adding that whether she is still in love is something we're going to have to wait and find out, but at least we know she fell in love more than one time during the season. She also said, quote, nothing's off limits this season. Love is love and I got to do what I got to do. So this is really exciting because I feel like the big question whenever we get a new bachelor, new bachelorette is, did they cast people that they're actually going to have connections with, that they're actually going to like? And here we have Katie saying not only did she like her contestants, she liked them so much she fell in love with multiple people. So I feel like that's a pretty good sign. What do you think, Morgan? Yeah, and I like the honesty. You know, I can't remember really any other bachelorette coming out and saying, hey, I fell in love with more than one person during my season where, let's be honest, it might be more common than people lead on for it to be. You know, we definitely see different connections throughout people's season. What we see might be a little bit different from what they're feeling. Obviously, we interpret things differently, but I just feel like it might be a little bit more common for the lead to actually catch major feelings for more than one contestant. I mean, we have seen a lot of people come out of the process with, with one of their final two and say, actually, I made a mistake and I should have picked the other one. So I just like that Katie is open and honest. She's not playing around. She's not really hiding any part of who she is. And that makes me even more excited to watch her season. Oh, absolutely. I'm so with you. And the only flip side to that is she didn't say that it was an easy journey, right? I mean, she's mm -hmm. falling in love with multiple people. We're like, yeah, this is so great. But if you think about it, that's got to make it even tougher on her. She did say uh, that it was very hard admitting, quote, there's a moment where I am ready to call it quits. This is not easy. Now, here's the thing. I don't feel like it's a secret. This is a difficult process. I mean, the emotional roller coaster these leads go on just in general with the pressure of filming a reality television show, having producers in your ear, cameras in your face, that in and of itself is a lot. Then you add in the fact that you're trying to find your husband. And for Katie, you add in the fact that she had to figure out being in love with multiple people at once. I feel like while it's going to be a very romantic season, I totally get why she's saying it was tough. I mean, I think it's going to be a roller coaster for us watching this along with her. I'm very excited, but my heart <laughs> goes out because it does seem kind of tricky. Yeah, everything that she's saying, though, although, you know, we do feel for her, of course, it's a hard journey. And I've even seen in the <laughs> promo, she says, you know, somebody book my flight home. Really, the last season with Matt James, what did we all say? We all said we were so over the drama in the house. We had no idea what was going on with Matt and his relationships. But Katie falling in love with more than one person has me hopeful that this season will focus strictly on her relationship with the guys. Now, we all know there is going to be in-house drama. It wouldn't be The Bachelor if there <laughs> wasn't that drama and it didn't play out on our screen. But I'm really optimistic that they will move away from what we saw last season with all the cattiness and it's just kind of overtaking the season and really see 
genuine love stories. And it's like you said, we know it's going to be a roller coaster, but Katie is a strong willed person. She is very independent. She knows what she wants. So I feel like I'm putting it out there. We're going to see a happy ending. Fingers crossed. That's my prediction this time around. <laughs> I'm so with you. I have my fingers crossed. And you know what? You're so right. Of course, there's going to be some drama, but I have the same high hopes as you because who Katie is, right? We've seen her no BS personality on Matt's season. That's why so many people fell in love with her. And she's revealing in these interviews that not only did she stay true to herself, she was not willing to settle for a guy who couldn't handle her for exactly who she is, which I have to say is honestly why I'm so obsessed with her. Her sense of confidence and strength is really, really impressive. She said, quote, I'm embracing who I am, and if a guy can't accept me being sex positive or talking about sex, it's just not going to work out. There are some people who are a little traditional and old school, but people around my age and younger were here for it. It's 2021. Embrace your sexuality and be an empowered woman. She did once again confirm she has said this before, but she once again put it out there that she is going to be having sex in the fantasy suite, saying, quote, I have sex in fantasy suites. You heard it here first. We all know what happens, but no one's talking about it. So this is what I think is interesting. We've talked about how confident she is. We've talked about now how we know she's going to be falling in love with multiple people. To me, it seems like Katie's season is really just going to go there in the sense that hopefully you're right. We're going to be seeing a little less drama and a little bit more of these really real conversations with her being super authentic, going after what she wants, and honestly, maybe shifting the tone a little bit from what we usually see in past seasons. Fantasy suites are usually this very mysterious subject that nobody really wants to touch on. It's like the elephant in the room. And here, before her season has even aired, Katie is being super blunt and just putting it all out there. So I don't know. Do you think there might be a slightly different tone this time around? Oh, absolutely. And that's why they picked Katie. I think they knew that she was going to be an open book. She really does remind me a lot of Caitlin Bristow. I would say kind of like a 2021 version of Caitlin Bristow, where she is who she says she is. She's not going to back down from anybody. And I feel like ABC knew what they were doing when they cast Katie and when they brought on Caitlin to be a mentor for Katie because they are so similar. And then also with Taysha coming in too, I just feel like Taysha has had success in her experience. And I know that Caitlin kind of had a different road to get where she is today with Jason, but I just, I'm so excited for these two. I'm so excited for just a different type of, of role. And it just reminds me of Hannah Brown's season and the fact that remember the craziness that went down with Luke and just how mad everybody was. And to go from that being that uh, storyline being on our TV screen to now seeing Katie, somebody who is fully embracing it, not going to be ashamed for who she is. I feel like that in itself is kind of a full circle moment for leads on the franchise. And it's really cool to see. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we've been calling for a lot of progress across the board in this franchise, and I think that they definitely knew what they were doing when they cast Katie. She also just opened up, which I think is kind of interesting, about what she wants in a husband. Because a lot of the time we've heard from Katie, like, I don't have a type. Like, I'm really excited to meet these guys and see what's out there. She's looking for love. We know that. But she just shared with us some specifics, and I think these will be good to kind of keep in mind as we dive into her season. She said, quote, her biggest want in a husband is someone who's passionate about life and for what he's doing in life. So she wants someone who not only is like passionate, but someone who has something that's driving them, something that's motivating them, that they're committed to. She also added, quote, definitely a good sense of humor and then kindness. I think that's a really big thing that people kind of overlook. So that's really interesting because... To be a nice person is one thing, but to genuinely exude kindness, I do think that that is sort of a special sweet thing that she's looking for in addition to that. She did say she's thrilled with the guys cast for her season and she's looking forward to America getting to know them. We just talked about how, you know, producers knew what they were doing in casting Katie. We're looking for progress this season and Katie seems to definitely be aware of that. She said, quote, 
Diversity was very important, but also getting to highlight their stories. I think that's something that unfortunately a lot of people missed with the women in my season. So she really not only is thrilled about who they cast for her, she was excited for America to get to know them, which I think is really special. She said, quote, I'm excited for everyone to get to know these guys, know their stories, because they have something great to share. We have said this so many times, Morgan, but it's an important season. I mean, it's no secret that Matt James' season was kind of a huge hot mess. Obviously, it brought to light a lot of really important conversations and has sparked, you know, sort of a domino effect of change. But there's a lot riding on Katie's season, and it's going to, I feel like, be important that they get the little things right this time around. So I'm really excited to get to know her contestants because, as we mentioned, in Matt's season, we didn't see a lot of that. We didn't even really get to see the love stories. It was all toxic drama and chaos. So the bar, I think, is set really high. What do you think? No, I agree. This is kind of like the make it or break it season. You know, after last season, a lot of people were calling for, like we've said, change. But there were also people who believed that The Bachelor was done and dusted. You know, that it had ran its course <laughs> on our TV screens, that it was just outdated. And that season kind of just blew up in all of our faces. Um, but I do think that there were learning experiences in that season that hopefully the franchise can understand they can move forward from because at the end of the day we all love the bachelor we all love the bachelorette we have been invested for years we don't want to see it end we want to see it progress as time changes so i'm hoping that they get this one right and like you said I'm really excited to learn more about the guys because that's what connects the audience. Yeah, people love to watch drama, but people also love to feel like they know the people that they're watching. You know, they end up rooting for a certain guy on the show. They end up feeling connected to this contestant or that contestant. So I'm excited. I hope they just get back to the basics, make it about Katie and finding love and getting to know her awesome cast. Yeah, absolutely. Katie also just addressed the Chris Harrison situation. Of course, that is a major part of why this season, you know, is going to feel so different, is so important. And she hasn't said too much about it, all things considered, leading up to this point. She just told Entertainment Tonight, quote, I support any growth that he is going through. I think he's I think he's taken the time away, which is probably a good decision for him. I think whenever he feels like he's ready for to return, then that's a decision he has to make for the franchise. So again, she didn't really go too deep there, right? Like that's a decision Chris will have to make. He and the franchise will handle it. But I do, I think it was a nice nod to say uh, that she supports the growth he's going through because I think we all do, right? I mean, I definitely think this is the right decision for Chris to make, but I appreciate all of the steps he's taking. And I do think that they're genuine. She also shared, she talked a little bit about being really grateful to Tasha and Caitlin, which I think is so sweet. She said, quote, I was just very blessed to have Tasha and Caitlin help me through that journey. It's something that I will forever be thankful for. If it wasn't for Tasha and Caitlin and some other people that you guys will find out about, I don't know that I could have done it. So a lot to unpack there, Morgan. I mean, from her thoughts on Chris to these other people i mean who are the other people what do you make of this i have no idea i mean i, I feel like <laughs> anything could go at this point in time um i'll just say that i am excited to see caitlin and Tasha because it's something different that we've never seen before and there's so much wisdom and knowledge that two people who have been in her exact shoes can give to her to maybe make her life a little bit or a lot of bit easier, which let's be honest, for as much as Chris helped leads, which he totally did, I'm not saying that he didn't, he was never the bachelor. He was never the bachelorette, <laughs> you know, he's never really walked a mile in their shoes. Of course, he's been with these people along their journey, but it's just going to be a different type of mentorship, a different type of uh, direction for the show. Now, this, these other people that she's talking about, will we break the fourth wall and maybe see some producers come <laughs> into the mix? I have literally no idea because who else could it be unless maybe 
her family, someone in her family comes and helps her out. I have no idea. My mind is literally scrambled eggs at this point when it comes to <laughs> what is going to happen on Katie's season. <laughs> Morgan, I am right there with you. I couldn't even begin to predict what the heck KD season is going to look like. I feel like anything is possible at this point. Obviously, finally, the wait is over. We're going to get to see this tonight. We're going to get to start really unpacking, you know, what is truly going on. The one thing that I'm really excited about, they just released a new promo and we see Caitlin and Tasha sort of standing up above the limo entrances, eating some popcorn and Obviously, we're going to hear some of their thoughts as all of this unfolds, and I feel like it's going to be, for better or for worse, I think I'm going to really enjoy it. Some people may not, but it's going to have a different energy in the sense that they're eating their popcorn and reacting to these limo entrances, and I think it's going to be really relatable to all of us sitting at home, you know, eating our popcorn, watching these limo entrances. So going to be very exciting to see how Caitlin and Tasha not only guide Katie's journey, but kind of connect with the audience because again, this is going to be the first time we've ever seen anything like this. And there are a lot of things still up in the air with the future. So lots to think about. You guys, the wait is finally over. KD season is of course premiering tonight. We want to know your thoughts, your final predictions, what you think of everything KD had to say in this interview. Let us know down in the comments. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do because we're going to be covering all things Katie 24-7 here on Shared News. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring, joined by the incredible Morgan Wright. If you want to come say hi, check out our socials. They are on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye.